Here we go. <laughs> we're in the we're in this isn't the barracks anymore. This is in you were saying the sick horse stables? Sick horse stables, right. yes. Okay, and I was just being told a story here about this. And what is the story behind this? Uh, this is a, a horse hoof. Um, the constable actually would have been given a number and the horse would have been given the same number. This one would have been 2151. So if the constable was out there and his horse actually died um, out on the trail, his responsibility was to cut off the hoof and bring it back to show to the veterinarian and to his um, uh, upper ranking officers to prove that he didn't actually sell the horse out there and uh, the horse actually died. So basically, uh, your ho you were assigned a horse, just like a gun. Yes. And then each horse was given a number, right, yeah. matricule. Like a serial number or a, a Is, license plate. Like a license plate. So you go out there, something happens to your horse, you got to bring the hoof back to prove that you didn't sell it. That's yeah. right. Because back then, horses cost about $150, and constables made about a dollar a day. So oh, wow. uh, to sell a horse, that was about six months' pay right there. Wow. You couldn't really sell a three-legged horse, so that's the reason. <laughs> So, okay, they, they, this is fascinating. So, and this is the sick horses, so basically horses that were obviously not doing sure. too good. We're in here, eh? And you say here there's five original buildings left. Yes, the four that are inside the barricaded walls and then that first one that you went into, which was Barrack Barrack number five. five. Yeah. yeah. So what do you got? That's the hayloft? Uh, no, this would have been um, more or less like a, a lookout tower. It would have also been used with all the sick horses in here. The bad oxygen would have risen up and it would have been a great way to ventilate the area. Oh, okay. Also, um, it's the highest point at the, on the fort, so it would have been used for lookouts, for fire, for anyone approaching, anything like that as well. But it's kind of a, a carvalot or a pagoda design, so a lot of Asian influence in the Victorian era um, architecture. All right. Okay, and this thing on the ground here, what's that? There, there is a snow sled. That would have been hauled either by horses or by dogs. Uh, it's a great way to transport anything in the winter months during the snow. Uh, you could really put anything in there. You could put firewood, provisions, rations, even sick people if need be. And you could just cover it over and keep it in relative safety and protection while you're hauling it across the frozen ground. All right. Thanks very much, man. No Cheers.